Hi, I'm Tim Morris from Cincinnati State. You are looking at a Piaggio Avanti. This is an airplane made in Italy. It has a pusher propeller. The propeller is on the back. Five blade, a five blade uh, uh, pusher, uh, constant speed prop. So let's talk about propeller repair today. There are some tools that you're going to need to do propeller repair, and that is a uh, the FA may call it a riffle file. You'll see on your FA written, it's called a riffle file. It's a fine cut uh, round file. Uh, you can also use flat files. You'll need a magnifying glass or a 10 power loop. Emery cloth. Now, emery cloth is a little different than what we'll call sandpaper or uh, aluminum oxide. Uh, emery cloth is a higher grade. It's, it's, it's on cloth. And the, the grit that we're going to use is 240 up to 600, 600 being fine. And we can also use crocus cloth. So we're going to talk next about the type of repairs that we can do to a propeller. Here's a side view of this Avanti. Good look at it here. So our propeller repairs are going to be limited to minor nick scratches, a little bit of blending to remove the sharp edges. We're going to have leading edge and trailing edge damage on propellers, we'll find over time. And we'll also have damage to the, uh, to the center of the propeller itself. So what the FA says about leading edge damage is first off to pay attention to the manufacturer's maintenance manual. And, and we know this. This is pretty standard. For nicks, dents, pits, and cuts, uh, we'll remove it. And we will remove the damage for these minor areas using a, a file. And once we remove the damage with the file and we're going to try to remove very little we don't want to remove much material on this propeller because we don't want to reduce the strength we want to remove the sharp edges once we do this with our file we'll remove the file cut edges it says here all traces of file marks must be removed with 240 grit emery cloth and then we'll follow that up with finer emery cloth to remove those deep scratches with a 320 followed by crocus cloth or 600 grit. When we have leading edge damage, we're going to um, uh, follow this chart that they show us here. And this chart says that if our damage is 1 32nd of an inch, the depth that of the finished repair will be just slightly deeper, be a, a 16th of an inch. This is leading edge damage. They're showing us illustration B this illustration here on top of the blade they're showing us three different views of it and here's the original nick in the leading edge of the blade the center shows us the cross section of the blade and here it is up here on the leading edge and we will blend a nice radius into this a 3 8 inch radius and so we want to remove the sharp edges is what we want to do so the FAA is going to call this uh, face area damage that they're trying to illustrate the face of the propeller. So, once again, manufacturer's maintenance manual. Uh, if they didn't publish information, you can follow the 4313. And gouges cut small dents must be removed first by rounding out and fairing out to form a saucer-shaped depression, slightly deeper than the damage. One of the things we want to do is we don't want sharp changes in, in the damage area. We want to taper it out. And we want to do it carefully. We want to remove as little material as possible from the propeller. Um, same thing. We're going to do it with a file if we need to. Or if we, then we're going to follow it up with abrasive cloth, emery cloth. Uh, 240, 320, and 600. This damage area here where we'll call damage area C let's look at that for a minute um, here what they've done is this is a longitudinal cut and so you did the same thing you tried to blend it out I'd, I'd be sanding across it and then with it and across it with it and I would try to taper it out 3 8 7 inch and you're gonna spread that damage out this is a longitudinal cut in the blade face area that the FA is showing you in this illustration here's the Avanti taxing out um, just uh, this is an airplane I caught on a rainy day at our airport in uh, Butler County, Ohio. Now let's talk about a couple other things. We're going to talk about cracks right now. A crack 
in a metal propeller is bad news. In fact, a crack in any propeller is bad news. There's really not much we can do with the crack other than take it off, put it in a box, and ship it away or, or, uh, or, or scrap it. So the FA talks about that. What they say is that any crack uh, cannot be repaired. The way that we'll find cracks is by doing inspections, and on metal blades, I like to use die penetrant inspection. So now we're going to talk about composite propellers for just a couple of minutes. Composite propellers are, are kind of like the other propellers for mechanics. There's really not a lot we can do. Uh, you don't repair damage in a composite propeller like you do with a metal propeller by just smoothing it out. But what they do tell us is that some of the maintenance things we can do is paint the propeller. When composite propellers fly through rain, a lot of times the rain will knock off the paint. So what they're telling us is that if something um, like a, uh, a de-ice boot comes loose, that we can glue it back down. Um, we can also repaint it. So as we start to get exposed composite, we don't want that. So we can uh, uh, sand it real carefully and paint it. And that's about all we can do with that. The last thing they talk about is erosion strips. A lot of com composite propellers will have an erosion strip on it. When you fly through rain, it beats up a, a composite propeller pretty good. So these erosion strips will keep that from happening. Also, it will keep it from eroding. Over time, the, the blades will erode from air. So we can replace those. But they give us a warning. So the warning on, on uh, erosion strips is if the propeller calls for one in the maintenance manual, then yeah, we can put them on. But we don't just walk up to a propeller and say, you know what, I think I'll just put an erosion strip on that. We only do it if it calls for it and it's part of the design. See, an erosion strip can do things that, uh, if it's not designed for that propeller, it could cause the airfoil to stall at a high angle attack. So if, if the pitch is wrong, it can uh, affect the efficiency of the propeller. So uh, it, these erosion strips are something that we maintain, um, and if the propeller calls for it, it needs to be on it. Otherwise, uh, we are not the engineers, we're not the designers. I hope this presentation on propeller maintenance is of value to you. Thanks for tuning in.